morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas day one i'm off to the yoga class with my mom but now let's start with a ritual opening an advent calendar so exciting oh my god i've been waiting for this uh for like over a month now so this year i have tiny bird cosmetics 12 days of christmas beauty calendar again just like last year and for my chocolate calendar i'll have a lint one this year which my boyfriend kindly sent me from paris hopefully it arrives soon but uh, i'm gonna start with the tiniest one and because it's 12 days i'm gonna open it every second day and as i'm starting on the first of december it means that i will be opening the door on every odd day okay the plastic bit is off let's take it down <laughs> to my carpet let's open day one so exciting i cannot believe it's december already that's crazy guys isn't it oh i missed this opening advent calendars what is it a lip gloss it's called candy cane that's nice might try it on later i have quite a few presents which i've been receiving from pr and i opened only this one i had a peek inside okay i'm gonna take my mat i've been using my manduka pretty much uh always i don't really use the jade mat that much anymore okay guys so this is my yoga outfit i'm wearing my south beach leggings from asos that i love and just an old gray t-shirt from oisha and an old jumper from zara and my hair in a ponytail and um yeah off i go hi baby still sleeping oh so cute I love how he is sleeping with his arms and legs stretched out like that. So now I'm gonna go have some breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys what I have. Then I will show you the presents. And uh, I'm gonna take a shower because I always take a shower at home. Well, you don't sweat in yoga. I, I did it with this jumper and didn't even get hot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I make my omelette. By the way, how cute is this bowl I recently got? I love it. So I use two eggs, a little bit of cheese for grating. If you don't eat cheese, you can skip this step. A little bit of salt and then some spring onions. You're gonna wanna preheat your frying pan. I added a little bit of olive oil. You can use coconut oil. So this is what it should look like. Now I'm gonna whisk it all. And that's it, simple as that. Simply pour it all into your frying pan. And then you're gonna wait a little bit and then kind of flip half of it. Um, well, you'll guys see how I do it. Okay, so now it's time for me to do some flipping. Ah, it's really hard with one hand. Okay. I think it worked. Here we go. A couple more minutes and it will be done. I'm gonna show you what I like to have on the side. So you'll need some cherry tomatoes, avocado, um, bit of lemon, some feta cheese, some rocket, salt and pepper, cumin and sesame seeds. So I put my rocket and cherry tomatoes in a sieve and I'm gonna wash it all really well now. Okay, so now I chopped my cherry tomatoes, avocado and a bit of feta cheese. Now you're gonna want to add 
a little bit of olive oil, some cumin, which I'm currently obsessed with, and then some sesame seeds. I'm not too sure if this lemon will still be good because we brought it back from Sicily quite a while ago, but it looks good to me. Um, and then I'm gonna have this bread. I normally have brown rye bread with uh, some seeds. That's Lithuanian bread. We in Lithuania we mainly eat brown bread like that. Well, some people prefer white, but I really like our brown bread. And we call it black bread. That's so interesting that in English you call it brown bread. In Lithuania, it's called black bread. And this one is new to me. I've never tried this one. It's with uh, watermelon seeds and quinoa, which is, sounds very interesting. And that, guys, is going to be my breakfast. I know it looks huge, but breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and I like to take my time to make myself a really lovely breakfast, which would fill me up until afternoon. And then I like to have a lighter lunch. So omelette, bread. With the, this recipe is actually from Madeline Shaw's Ready Steady Glow book. So like feta cheese, cumin, cherry tomatoes, avocado on rye bread. And I fell in love with it. It tastes so good and it's just so, so simple. The nice cup of coffee. So I'm gonna enjoy myself now. The sun is shining, it's so lovely. Also guys, usually when I have my breakfast, I like to watch YouTube videos to catch up but recently I've been trying not to do that and just spend some time with myself and just like eat in a calm environment no YouTube no computer no phone nothing to just I don't know I guess have a couple of minutes of just being Zen I'm gonna tell you more about it um, after I finish eating recently I've just been wanting to start my mornings without any technology so Okay, I'm off. So that breakfast was the bomb. Um, okay, now I brought all of the presents to my bed and I'm gonna open them on camera. I'm using my big Canon camera for filming this. I haven't finished my coffee yet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first one, which as I said, I've already opened and had a peek in it. Um, so it's this beautiful like metallic pink box which says Merry Christmas Loving Tan and Loving Tan is a tanning brand from pig tan brand from Australia and I actually applied a fresh layer of tan don't know if you can tell but I have to wash it off because it has developed throughout the night and it's always been my favorite pig tan brand and look at that you open it up and there is this super cute little reindeer card um, which says Yava wishing you and your family a safe and very Merry Christmas and New Year and here it just says Merry Christmas like, it honestly feels like a Christmas day okay so the first thing um, that I got was this PJ which is so funny because it says Mary and bronzed. <laughs> That's hilarious. And um, these are the bottoms. And you're gonna look like a candy cane wearing this pajama. They're gonna be too big on me, but I'm still gonna wear them. I'm gonna try them on. And of course, they stuck me up on Loving Tan products. So. Thank you so much, Loving Time. That's such an amazing present. I love it. And the box is just so pretty. I saw that this is an invitation to an event, which is happening today. But unfortunately, I'm not attending it because it is in Vilnius. And I mean, there are so many events happening in Vilnius. This is an event um, for the new brand called Nashi Argan. It's not new to me because my mom bought Nashi Argan hair like leave-in conditioner from her hairdresser recently. So I already know about this brand. Nashi Argan shampoo and conditioner. The original oil, which is gonna be really handy for traveling. And then this is something from a girl called Alexandra from Canada, Vancouver. And it says bath soap and the 
packaging actually smells of soap. Like, how crazy is that? Like, how strong is this soap? Okay. Oh, it's from Lush. Ah, so cool. Because Lush doesn't exist in Lithuania anymore. So it just says Yeva. Oh my god, it just smells so good. What is this? <gasps> she wrote me such beautiful letter. I mean, look at that. I'm not gonna show you up close because it's personal, but I'm gonna read it <laughs> with my coffee. And let's see which soap it is. So it smells so nice. Oh my god, it's not actually a soap. I will. Yes, it's a snow angel. Oh my god, that's the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much. I've never tried Snow Angel and it's just like one of the most Christmassy bath products. I believe it's Bubble Bar. Can you guys see half of it is white and the other half is gold and sparkly? And it just smells so good. It's a very warm kind of slightly vanilla -y scent, I want to say. Oh, it's so beautiful and my bath is gonna look magical with the gold shimmers all over it. So thank you so much, Alexandra. I love you guys. I have the best viewers ever. Okay, and this is the last thing. This is from Urban Decay. Hi, Louis. Come here. <laughs> oh, he loves ribbons. Here you go. Can you guys see? <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Ooh, let's see. That's interesting. Oh my god, this is their Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I never own the, the Basics palette. I have two Naked palettes, the first and the third, and I love them both so much, but I never had the matte ones. Wow, the packaging is insane. It's like, is this rose gold? Yeah, I think it is rose gold. It's just... Look at that, it's so shiny. Let's open it. Wow. The colors are so beautiful. They're right up my street, especially the top row. Like I could use every single shade. They're gonna be perfect for that, like for the crease or just matte eye. What is this? It's their brush. Um. What does it say? The finger F110. So this is what it should look like. Oh wow, it's so soft. Which is... So... I mean, I've never seen a brush like this. It's like very... The bristles are very short, rounded and... Like, what are you supposed to use it for? Like... Is it for all over your eyelid or just blending? I don't know. Do let me know guys if you know what this brush is for. Because I've never seen one this shape for eyeshadow. Then this is Urban Decay Vintage. What? Is this a new lipstick line? Am I being stupid? I've never seen these. Or this packaging even. Hmm. The color is Roach and it's a cream lipstick. I mean, they look like Vice lipsticks, the packaging. But this one is matte. Are these not out yet? I'm not, I like, I don't even know. What? <laughs> it's like a proper brown shade with some shimmer in it. It's like a bronzy lipstick. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear something like this, but it looks pretty cool. And the last one is their Liquid Moon Dust eyeshadow. Never heard of these either. And the color is Space Time. Looks like it's gonna be a brown. Ooh. That is beautiful. It's like a bronzy shadow with gold shimmering flex running through it. What? It's like an eyeliner. Look at that, guys. Look at that sparkle. Wow. 
Thank you Urban Decay, that's amazing. Now I'm gonna go take a shower, uh, do my French homework. happening causing traffic after my class which is uh, an hour and a half I will be going to my aunt's house to spend some time with Linda love <laughs> Ronya hi you so cute you crazy dog you're so cute <laughs> The new panala. My shoes are interesting. My shoes are interesting too. Ah. What's that? What's this camera in your face? Oh, look how big she's gotten. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that's Kwabe. And it's very cute. Linda and her friends are making some Christmasy cookies. Oh. Chocolate? No. Ginger cookies. Ooh, they're gonna get me into a Christmas mood with this music because I'm not I'm not feeling festive at all. But I'm gonna get copyright issues for this. Yeah, here it is. Hmm. All my pictures from a photo shoot with Auxa Grey. I wrote about ASMR this month, so if you wanna know more about it, get the Sun Bursa shoe. Girls are actually listening to my Christmas playlist, so if you wanna listen to all of those songs, you just go to my channel and um, check out my playlist, so it will be the Christmas one. So I guess I'm gonna edit this vlog now, while they're making cookies, and then make some tea and have their cookies. So I just imported the footage of this vlog and started editing it and it's over one hour. Like, how am I gonna do vlogmas if I vlog so much and I talk so much? It's gonna be really difficult. I'm gonna end my vlog here because I don't wanna make it any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you tomorrow.